today with the E1 HPS 105 steel aerial, going over some of the features and options that are available on it. Uh, first most notable thing we have here is this bolt-on egress tip. There are several varieties of this. What we show here is the straight uh, bolt-on egress. It's also available in a 15 degree down so that it's more easily spotted from the turntable. But with this straight version, we're able to offer the style of monitors that have above zero operations. This allow you to get into eaves and into roofs of buildings um, for that firefighting attack mode. Uh, this ladder also has tip controls on it. So here you have a keypad that will actually operate the extension, elevation, rotation, and so forth of the ladder itself. Even some safety switches on the pedals down there to protect your toes. Uh, we also have the high intensity lights. We have a 110 volt light on one side, 12 volt light on the other. Um, the 110 volt light is also tied into a 110 volt receptacle we have here at the tip for connecting cords and taking inside of the building. We have a uh, intercom system that will communicate between the turntable and the tip of the aerial. And we also have these uh, uh, strobes at the tip of the ladder as well that will help spot it at night or in smoke and so forth. You can recognize where the ladder tip is. With this style ladder we also have ACK storage here at the tip. And you can also see across the way here the monitor controls themselves that will control right, left, up, downstream, fog, and both stow and deploy for this monitor. One of the features that we carried over from the aluminum product line is uh, this aluminum conduiting running up and down the ladder. So anywhere that there is fixed runs of uh, wires running up and down the device, we have them protected within these aluminum conduits running from one end to the other. The monitor has a location of, at this point, it's in the water tower operation mode. We retract one section, use a pin to replace and we operate in the rescue mode. So right now we're in the water tower operation. This assembly is attached to the monitor and the whole carriage can move backward and connect to this end point in the uh, rescue position. We're also using a valve under monitor configuration, which is, allows us to do a hand line as a pre-connect so we can run a, a standpipe operation and run hoses into a, a building. So one of the main design goals of the HPS 105 steel aerial was to uh, not require grease for extension and retraction of the ladder. So in order to achieve that, we have hopefully a design that utilizes high capacity polyurethane rollers that are actually mounted in a spring-loaded housing that allows the rollers to pivot and maintain contact with the bottom side of the rail in all loading conditions. In order to com complement the greaseless concept, we have a, at the rear of the, each ladder section, we have a, a roller mechanism that allows for downward forces and upward forces and greaseless activity. So we're, we're working on making a smooth operation with minimal friction forces. That's going to increase the life of the cables, it's going to increase the life of the hydraulic cylinders because we're going to run under less operating pressure. We also have rollers for the side guides here. We have the adjustments which adjust the side play on these to maintain the ladders tracking straightly, but there's also a small roller in there that will guide the ladders as they slide in and out. One of the features you can see here as well is we have these uh, FRP high traction rung covers. The FRP uh, high traction rung covers are uh, much improved over the rubber uh, clamp on pieces and uh, have provide really good slip resistance for the operator. One of the nice features of all E1 aerials is we use these very large extension retraction cables and they run over very large uh, shiv wheels. It's a big benefit to an aerial to have these large cables and large shiv wheels because it increases the life of the cable and the shiv wheels themselves as they're not having to bend as tightly over the pulleys. We're utilizing the same uh, ladder storage concept, the J-hook ladder racks for roof ladders when they need to be deployed. It makes it very convenient for the operator to pull them out of the storage position and utilize them up on the fire scene. The HPS 105 uses the proven compression frame extension retraction system from other HP 100 aluminum area ladders. It's a very robust system. The cylinder travels within a compression housing, uses the large diameter shiv wheels and large cables, and basically extends and retracts the ladder through its cylinder rod, which is protected during the full range of motion.